बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय श्रीमद सदगुरु सरकार की जय सियावर राम चंद्र की जय devotees at this time as we about to begin to nice devotion let's try to compose ourselves try to sit up straight close your eyes try to meditate on the form of the supreme lord and the spiritual masters who speak their blessings the guidance and protection try to feel the presence of the supreme lord feel the vibration of his presence agyanati mirandhasya gyana janashalakaya चक्षुर्मील तस्म श्री गुरव नम चेतो दर्पण मजन भव निर्वापन श्रेय कैरवचंद्रिका वितरण विद्यावधूजीवन आनंदा बुद्धिवर्धन प्रतिपद पूर्णमृता स्वादन सर्वात्मस्नपन परम विजयते श्रीकृष्ण संकीर्तन नम कमलनाथ नम कमलमालिने नम कमल पाद नमस्ते कमलेक्ष यो ब्रह्मा विरधाति पूर्व यो वै वेदाश प्रहिणोति तस्म तघ्वंगदेवत्मबुद्धि प्रकाश मुमुक्षुर्व शरणम प्रपद्य बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय सियावर राम चंद्र की जय श्रीमद सदगुरु सरकार की जय आदरणीय पूजनीय पंडित गण पंडित सत्यानंद महाराज पंडित चेत्रा महाराज आर पंडित देवस डिवोटिस ऑफ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड द डिवाइन सोल्स First, let me say, Radhe Radhe to each and every one, and my pranam, my humblest prostrations to all of you. A very special welcome also to our viewers and Bhakti TV. This program is also being carried live on Bhakti TV simultaneously. and a special radhe radhe and pranam to all of you and a special thanks to pandit satyanand maharaj of the satya anand ashram and producer of bhakti tv before we going to nice this course 
I like to do a special bhajan written by Jagat Guru Tam Shri Kipalu Mahaprabhu. Those who can see in the books and follow page twenty two zero. एक गोपी अपने अंतरंग सखी से पूछ रही है कि अरे सखी आपने कन्हैया को देखा कनुआ को देखा तो गोपी ने कहा हाँ मैंने देखा और अपने सखी को बता रही किस तरह से देखा one gopi, milkmaid the Brindavan, the highest devotees of Sri Krishna, is asking a very close friend of hers, another gopi, my dearest friend, have you seen Kanheya, Kanua, Sri Krishna? So that gopi replied, yes, I have seen him. And then she goes on to describe how she saw him. Sham Lagatari. Gat means body, Shamal means darkish, the dark complexion one. Shri Krishna. Madhura Madhura Dhuni Benu Bajavat Gayana Pache Jatari. He was playing his wonderful flute, the Basuri, the divine flute. And he was walking behind the cows. He was taking them out to pasture, to graze. Kandhe kanaka lakuti kamari aru pitambara paharatari. On the shoulder, on one shoulder, he had a black kambal. A black blanket he always takes with him. While grazing the cow whole day, sometimes they would lie down and take rest, etc. So he, Maya would give him a black blanket, Kala Kambal. He had his golden lakuti, a golden stick. And he was wearing pitambad, yellow clothes, yellow silken clothes that was fluttering in the wind. Such a beautiful vision. Chittavani chot chalavat muri muri manda manda musukatri. As he was going, the gopis, hearing the basuri, and knowing that Sri Krishna was going to go and take the cows for the whole day, they won't see him. They ran off from the houses to catch the last glimpse. And he would look, glance, he would glance at them as he was walking. Stealing their heart with such a mischievous and prem bhari, love-laden glance. He would glance and steal their heart of all the gopis. And with such a maddening smile on his lips, that the whole day they'll remember that beautiful face with the, such a beautiful smile on his lips. Sangadhana Sukha Manasukha Shri Dhamma Aganitya Sakhana Jamaatari. And of course, Shri Krishna didn't go alone to graze the cows. His Sakhas, his cowhood friends, Dhan Sukha Manasukha Shri Dhamma, thousands and thousands of cowhood boys accompanied him. Jhomi Kripalu Chalat Puni Dekhat Ghomi Yasho Mati Matare And while he was walking and he sways as he walks every now and again he'd look all the way back turn around Maya was also standing at the doorway for as long as she could see him she would stand and he would lovingly glance at look at Maya reassuring her don't worry Maya I'll be safe with all the love, and Maya will feel satiated, but she kept looking until she couldn't see again. So try to visualize that beautiful vision. 
of Sri Krishna as the gopi is explaining to her sakhi her most intimate friend hum dekhe hum dekhe sham lagat re hum dekhe sham lagat re hum dekhe ओ हम देखे राधे हम देखे शाम लगात रे हम देखे शाम लगात रे हम देखे शाम मधुर मधुर धुनि बेनु बजावत मधुर मधुर धुनि मधुर मधुर धुनि बेनु बजावत हो गैन पाछे जात रे हम देखे शाम लगात रे हमन पाछे जात रे हम देखे शाम लगात ओ हम देखे राधे हम देखे शाम लगात रे हम देखे शाम लगात रे हम देखे शाम लगात एवरी वन सिंग हम देखे शाम लगात सिंग एवरी वन प्लीज कांधे कनक लकुटी कामरी अर कांधे कनक लकुटी कामरी अर ओ पीताबर पहरात रे हम देखे शाम लगात रे राधे पीताबर पहरात रे हम देखे राधे हम देखे शाम लगात रे हम देखे शाम लगात रे हम देखे शाम लगात रे हम देखे शाम लगात चितवनी चोट चलावत मुरी मुरी 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 ओ मंद मंद मुस्कात रे हम देखे शाम लगात रे राधे मंद मंद रे हम देखे शाम लगात रे हम देखे हम देखे शाम लगात रे हम देखे शाम लगात रे हम देखे संग धन सुख मन सुख श्री राम संग धन सुख मन सुख श्री राम 
संग धन सुख मन सुख श्री दामा धन सुख मन सुख श्री दामा अगणित सखन जमात रे हम देखे श्याम लगात रे हम देखे हम देखे 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 शाम गात रे हम देखे शाम गात रे कृपालु चलत पुनि देखत कृपालु चलत पुनि देखत झूमि कृपालु चलत पुनि देखत झूमि कृपालु चलत पुनि देखत ओ भूमि यशो मति मातरे हम देखे श्याम लगा ओ भूमि राधे भूमि यशोमति मात रे हम देखे श्याम लगात रे राधे भूमि यशोमति माधे ओ हम देखे 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 शाम लगात रे हम देखे शाम लगात रे हम देखे शाम लगात रे हम देखे शाम लगात हम देखे शाम गात रे हम देखे श्याम लगात रे हम देखे श्याम लगात रे हम देखे श्याम लगात रे बोले श्याम लगात नंदलाल की अब सावधान होकर सुन लीजिए लेट्स ऑल ट्राई टू बी वेरी अटेंटिव नाउ एंड लिसन केयरफुली लास्ट नाइट आई टोल्ड यू सिंस माय विजिट टू ट्रिनिडाद दिस टाइम आई हैव बीन एक्सपाउंडिंग on navdha bhakti navdha bhakti i told you there are many many types of bhakti devotion as described in bhagavat mahapurana etc nine types 10 types 24 types 36 type many types out of this navdha this night the so many types the most famous one सबसे प्रसिद्ध है नावधा भक्ति दिस भक्ति दट प्रहलाद दट ग्रेट डिवोटी भक्त प्रहलाद टॉट टू हिज ओन फादर हिरण्य कश्यपु श्रवणम कीर्तनम विष्णु स्मरणम पाद सेवनम आर्चनम वंदनम दास्यम सख्यम आत्मा निवेदनम भागवत महापुराण सेवन कांटो फिफ्थ चैप्टर ट्वेंटी थर्ड वर्स हिरण्य कश्यपू हर आक्स प्रहलाद दट यू हैव अक्वायर्ड सो मच नॉलेज ही जस्ट रिटर्न फ्रॉम द आश्रम ऑफ द गुरु फ्रॉम योर गुरुज टेल मी वॉट यू कंसिडर टू बी द ग्रेटेस्ट नॉलेज यू हैव अक्वायर्ड 
And so, Prahlad said, Father, worship in the Supreme Lord Shri Krishna through his nine forms. This ninefold devotion, I consider this to be the greatest knowledge. Nothing greater than this. Shravan Bhakti, listening to the divine philosophy as you're doing right now. The glories of the Lord, the divine philosophy of the scriptures. Kirtan Bhakti, Kirtan, as we just chanted, chanting the name, the qualities, the pastimes of the Lord. Kirtan Bhakti. Smaran Bhakti. Lovingly remembering God, meditating on the form of God. Pad Sevanam Bhakti. Worshipping the lotus feet of the Lord or a saint who is God personified. Archan Bhakti. Worshipping an image of the Lord through puja, etc. Vandan Bhakti. Prostrating before the Lord with great humility. Dasyam Bhakti. Realizing the relationship of the soul, that by nature the soul is an eternal servant of Sri Krishna. Therefore, our ultimate aim in life is to serve Sri Krishna, to do his seva. Sakyam Bhakti. <coughs> Realizing the relationship of friendship. I told you last night, there are five relations we make with God. Shant bhav, dasya bhav, sakya bhav, vatsalya bhav, madhurya bhav. The first being the lowest, the last being the highest. Those who worship the part of bhakti, rasik, who have drunk, the rasik saints, who have drunk the highest divine bliss of Sri Krishna, they reject shant bhav. The yogis, they worship Mahavishnu, the relationship of a subject and a king. It's too much distance. The subject hardly gets a chance to even see the king Phallus to speak to him. So it's rejected. The other four is accepted. Dasya Bhav, the, I just told you the relationship that the soul is a servant and the Lord is master. That to love God as a servant loves the master. Higher than that, Sakya Bhav. Sakya means friend. Loving God in the friendship mode. That, that's like how we love a friend in the world. The Lord is my friend, I am his friend. These two relations are eternal. All. Higher than Sakya Bhav, Vatsalya Bhav. Loving God as a parent loves a child, as a child loves a parent. Parental love. And the highest relationship, Madhurya Bhav, the lover beloved relationship as the gopis love Sri Krishna. The highest. So we discussed this in detail last night. Now we come to number nine. Ninth Bhakti. Prahladji in the Bhagavat Mahapuran, he gives the ninth bhakti as Atma Nivedanam. Atma Nivedanam. Archanam Bandanam Dasyam Sakyam Atma Nivedanam. Atma Nivedanam. Means to complete the complete surrender. One completely surrenders everything, himself and everything to God. Sarva Samarpan Atmani Vedanam. Complete surrender. What's the need for that? We will hear. Bhagwan Sri Ram also outlines the ninth bhakti. I told you there was a little difference. 
just as prahlad ji maharaj is relating bhakti navdha bhakti to hiranyakashipu bhagwan shri ram also related navdha bhakti to shabri there are many similarities but there are some little differences also because there are many many types so let's hear what shri ram says about the ninth bhakti नवाम नवाम साब सन छल मम भरोस ही हरषण नवम साम सब नवम साम सब छन छी नहीं सन छी सन छल मम भरोस ही हर शन दीना जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम नवम सब सम सब सन छल हीना और मम भरोस ही हर्षन दीना द नाइंथ भक्ति भगवान श्री राम में से इंटू शबरी इज टू बिकम छल हीना टू सी द लॉर्ड एवरीवेयर इन एवरीथिंग एंड टू बिकम चाइल्ड लाइक छल हीना छल मीन्स छल कपट फ्रॉड डिसीट we have to become child like child like like a newborn child in order to know god see god attain god aur mama bharos hi harsh nadina to have complete faith in the lord and not to become over enthusiastic or depressed in the world when things will happen things will happen sometimes good things happen sometimes bad things not to let it affect you we'll come in detail about that first to begin let's look at what prahlad ji says as far as navdha bhakti ninth the ninth one atma nivedanam completely surrendering oneself and everything you have why is surrender so important the vedas the highest authority says yame vaishya vinutetena labhyas tasyaisha atma 
विविनुते तनु गम स्वाम कठो उपनिषद फर्स्ट कांटो सेकंड चैप्टर ट्वेंटी थर्ड वर्स द वेद से दैट गॉड कैन बी सीन नोन एंड अटेंड ओनली बाय दोज अपॉन हुम ही शावर्स हिज ग्रेस हिज कृपा Only by those upon whom He showers His grace, and how we're going to attain God's grace? So the Vedas again say, Rig Ved, to the Seva Sharan A Mahasya Rig Ved. God Himself is saying in the Vedas, as I have said in the Vedas, first you have to surrender to Me. Take shelter in me, surrender it unto me, and then I, then I will show my grace. Te twa in the madayan, te twa mada in the madayan to shushmanam to viradasam jaritte eko devatra dayase rigved. Again, the Lord is saying in the Vedas, the moment. You surrender unto me, the Lord, with complete faith. I will remove the ocean of Maya and give you supreme happiness, divine bliss. Urutishthas tva dharas tavano devya kripa rigved. The Lord says, if you want my divine property, divine knowledge, divine bliss, divine vision. Divine property, then you have to surrender to me. Yo Brahmanam Vidhati Purvam Yo Vai Vedansh Chaprahino Titasme Tagvang Hadeva Matma Buddhi Prakasham Mumukshuravai Sharanamaham Prapadde Shweta Shutaro Panisha Chapter 6, verse 18. The Vedas say, only the individual who surrenders to God attains His grace. Only. There's no other way. Etara lambanam shreshtha, metara lambanam param, katho panishad. Again and again the Vedas are saying, thousands of places. If you want to attain the grace of God, then you have to surrender to Him. Have to. Bhagwan Krishna says to Udho in Bhagavat Mahapuran, Mamekameva Sharana Matmanam Sarvadehinam Yahi Sarvatma Bhavena Yayasya Hyakutu Bhayaha. 11 Kanto, 12th chapter, 15 verse. Bhagavat Mahapuran. Shri Krishna says, Udhav, only if you surrender unto me will I show my grace upon you. Only then you will become free from Maya, otherwise impossible. Maam ek mev. Ek is being used, means only, and ev also means only. To stress the how important surrender is. Many places in Gita also. Tame vasharanangacha sarvabhave na bharata. Tat pasadat param shantim sthanam prapsashishashvatam. Gita chapter 18 verse 62. Shri Krishna says, Arjun, only if you surrender to him, meaning God, Will you attain supreme happiness, divine bliss, supreme peace? Daivi hesha gunamai mama maya duratyaya Mame vayi prapadyante maya metantarantite Chapter 7 verse 14, Gita The Lord says, this is, what my, this is my one and only condition, only Complete surrender to Shri Krishna, to me, to God. Ananya shintayantu mami jana paripasate 
तेषां नित्यभियुक्तानां योगक्षेम बहाम्यहम दोस हु वर्शिप मी एक्सक्लूसिवली श्री कृष्ण से इन टू अर्जुन एंड सरेंडर एम सेल्फ होल हार्ट इट लियन टू मी कंप्लीटली टू मी टू देम आई ब्रिंग अटेनमेंट ऑफ वट दे डू नॉट हैव एंड आई प्रोटेक्ट वट दे हैव सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य मामेक शरण ब्रज अहम ताम सर्व पापे भ्यो मोक्ष ईशा मासु चैप्टर एटीन वो सिक्सटी सिक्स गीता अर्जुन गिव अप ऑल धर्म प्लस अधर्म ऑल ऑब्लिगेशन ऑल वर्चूज एंड ऑल वाइसेस and take shelter in shri krishna alone in god alone if you do that i will free from all sins all pap sarva pape bhyo that you have committed in uncountable lifetimes uncountable pap sin and give you everything divine to sadas these two says मन क्रम वचन छारी चतुराई भजत ही कृपा करत रघुराई जय राम मन क्रम बचन छारी चतुराई बाय वर्ड्स टॉट्स एंड डीज द मोमेंट वी गिव अप ऑल ट्रिक्स एंड टैटिक्स डिसीटफुलनेस चतुराई एंड सरेंडर टू द लॉर्ड देर इज नॉट अ मोमेंट्स डिले इन अटेन इन हिज ग्रेस सो एवरीवेयर फ्रॉम वेद to ramayan is telling us we have to surrender ved geeta bhagwat ramayan everywhere puran the only way to attain god's grace without his grace nothing is possible we have to completely surrender to him what's going to happen when we surrender to god the vedas tell us god says in the vedas bhidyate hridaya gantish chidyante sarva sanshaya kshiyante chas karmani tasmin drishte paravare munda kopanishad the exact translation of this ved mantra word for word is given in bhagavat mahapuran i have told you Bhagavat Mahapuran, I mentioned last night, is translation of Vedas. After the broadcast, so let me mention again. Ved, there are four Vedas: Rig Ved, Yajur Ved, Sam Ved, Atharv Ved. But no one can understand Ved. Why? because ved is divine vedas are called apaurusheya apaurusheya means they do not have their origin in man they were not delivered by a prophet or special messenger of god as were the scriptures of other religion by the vedas no books are meant vedas have always existed from beginning less time ever since god existed they are the treasury of divine laws 
revealed by the Supreme Lord Himself. Someone takes a breath. God took a breath and the Vedas appeared. Niha Swasatamasya Vedaha Jaki Sahaj Ved is eternal, Sanatan. They are the words of God Himself. To understand Ved, you have to be divine. So, Veda Vyas, how are people going to benefit from Ved? So, he wrote the final Puran, Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran. Veda Vyas, the Vedas are eternal, they are not in book form. But a little more than 5,000 years ago, a special descension of Sri Krishna. He himself descended. His partial manifestation, Avesha Avatar, as Veda Vyas. And he taught, Kalyug is coming soon. In the age of Kalyug, people's memory is very short. Very short. Their, their age limit is very small. They live very... Hundred years is not even a guarantee. Everything is so bad in the Kalyug. What will happen? So, he put Vedas in book form. Vedas are eternal. But he decided to put, it, put them in book form. He wrote Mahabharat, the epic. 17 Puranas, etc. But yet he found no peace. Ashanti. Very disturbed. Naraji came. Naraji said, Hey, Veda Vyas, kya hua? What happened? Veda Vyas says, Hey, Narad Muni, he bowed to Narad Muni, Narad, that great saint, he bowed to him and said, Naraji, I do not know what to say. I have no peace. Naraji said, you have put Vedas, the ultimate authority of Bhagwan. you put it in book form. You have written 17 Puranas, you have written the great epic Mahabharat, etc. And yet, you don't have peace. Veda Bhyas says, yes, bhaiya, I don't know. Naraji said, I know. It is because you are yet to write a book that talks only about the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna and his divine pastimes. And the thing which is dearest to Sri Krishna, Bhakti. You have yet to write such a book. That's why you haven't found peace, happiness. So Veda Vyas, first you have to do bhakti. You cannot write Bhagavat like that. You do bhakti first. Ah, you are a Vesha avatar, partial manifestation of Sri Krishna, but you have to do bhakti first. So Veda Vyas did bhakti. He had a vision of Maya. Maya has this Maya that governs us, the individual soul has made us forgotten how, who we are and there is the reason for our suffering in this world, that Maya has a form. Veda Vyas saw Maya. Maya appeared before him. He had a vision of Sri Krishna and then he was blessed that he could write Bhagavat Mahapuran. The final scripture he wrote, Bhagavat Mahapuran. And this Bhagavat is expl explanation of Vedas. Bhag Bhagwan, realizing that no one will be able to understand Veda, people have taken dictionary and translated <laughs> Vedas and, and they have written translation and people read and they think they know what is in Veda. No. Bhagwan Krishna says to Udhav in Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran 11 Kanto that Vedas are Parokshavadu Vadu. 
परोक्ष बात इन अदर वर्ड्स देर इज अ डीपर हिडन मीनिंग ऑन टॉप समथिंग इज रिटर्न एंड वॉट इट मीन्स इज समथिंग एल्स दिस इज डिवाइन Every word in the Vedas can have thousands of meaning. When you take a dictionary and translate, you'll make a mess. All these Western philosophers, Karl Marx, etc., they have made a complete mess of our Vedas and scriptures. And we read and think, "Oh, this is correct. It's totally wrong." Challenge. Take for example. I give you a few example. In the Vedas, God is known by many different names. At one place, God is called Akash. Akash means space. If you translate, you're going to put space. At one place, God, Bhagwan, is called Purush. Purush means man. At one place, Bhagwan is called Devata. Devata means celestial God, celestial being, those living in heaven. at one place god is called agni agni means fire that's just a few example so this is why vedas say acharya van purusho hi ved do not try to understand ved by yourself go to the acharya go to the saint one who has realized god let him tell you what is in vedas only the person who has attained god can know what is written in the scriptures tulsidas ji says in the ramayan soi ja nahi dehi de जनाई जानत तुम ही तुम ही है जय राम श्री राम भगवत रसिक भगवत रसिक रसिक की बाते रसिक बिना को समझ सके जय राम श्री राम सोई जा नहीं जे ही देहू जनाई और जान तो तुम ही तुम ही हो जाए वन हुज टेन गॉड who god has given the knowledge to when you attain god realization everything god has he gives to the soul dadami buddhi yogam tam yena mam upayanti te chapter 10 verse 10 gita shri krishna says i give him divine knowledge i give him everything so the one who has attained god he alone knows what's in the mind and he who knows what in his what is in ramayan has become ram in other words he has become a saint and everybody claimed to know ramayan really are you ram are you bhagwan you know story you don't know what is in ramayan 
The story and what is in Ramayana is two different things. Bhagavad Rasika Rasika ki baate Rasika bina ko samajhu sakena Khag jane khag hi kai bhaakha Tusirashi says Just as a bird alone can understand the language of another bird So too only a saint Someone who has attained God-realization Can understand what is written by another saint To understand divine words you have to have a divine mind, divine intellect. If you try to understand with a material intellect, you will give a material meaning to divine words. So Veda Vyas wrote translation of Vedas and that is Bhagavat Mahapuran. That's why Bhagavat is called Pancham Ved. The fifth Ved. Because it is translation of Vedas. You want to know what is in Ved? Read Bhagavat. The reason why I mention in this is because from the 22nd of January we're going to be having Bhagavat Maha, Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran Yatra. Yatra. Journey. of Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran. This great scripture known as Srim. This is Bhagwan Sri Krishna personified that Bhagavat Mahapuran. There's no difference between Bhagavat Mahapuran and Sri Krishna himself. It's a great blessing. So we're going to be doing 20 ni 21 nights of Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran throughout the country. As I mentioned, normally Bhagavat Yag is done three times a day for seven days, <coughs> 21 session. But because of COVID, etc., and the situation in which the country is, so we are doing 21 nights, various mandars, etc. We're traveling throughout the country. Whoever would like us to come and be part of this wonderful journey, this divine journey. Many, many have already given their desire to be part of it. If you still like to be a part of it, we still may have a few spaces empty. Please contact Pandit Satyananda Maharaj of the Satya Ananda Ashram. And he will tell you, he'll give you the details and see how we can fit you in, where we can fit you in. So you can conduct Pandaji. And he is one of the person, the coordinator, he's one of the person who's coordinating this Bhagavat Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran Yagna Yatra. Anyhow, so that verse from Munda Kopanishad, exact words, exact translation in Bhagavat Mahapuran. Bhidyate hidayagante chidyante sarvasan shayaha kshiyante chasi karmani drishta eva khilatmani. Bhagavat Mahapuran, first canto, second chapter, 21st verse. The Lord is saying, I at once remove the nuts, ghat, the nuts of doubts and ignorance from the heart of my fully surrendered devotees. Furthermore, I release them from all the effects of uncountable actions performed in uncountable past lifetimes. We have performed uncountable actions, good and bad, and they are, they are all stored in the mind. <coughs> As Sanchit Karm. Sanchit. Huge storehouse of infinite actions, good and bad. is called Sanchit Karm. And we have to bear the fruit. The scripture says, Avashameva bhokta vyam kritam karma shubha shubham. You will have to bear the fruits of your good actions as well as bad actions. Half to Mahabharat. 
It's not that you can play the fool your whole life. Never take God's name one day. Never pray to God. Never go to Mandir. Never have time for Bhagwan. And then when you die, they can do some shard, put some rice ball and do something and you'll go to Bhagwan. Really? No, that's important. That helps the soul because the soul has done so much pap, sin. They're going to suffer. In Garud Puran, it tells the kind of suffering that soul has to go through. Garudji says to Bhagwan Vishnu, first, Garud Puran is not a little book, not only death, it has everything in Garud Puran. Bhakti also. Haven't heard about bhakti and the power and the, the, the those who love the Lord, the bhaktas. Garuji then says to Bhagwan Vishnu, Haven't heard about your bhaktas and what happens they go to you. Please tell me about the worldly souls who have no time for you. What happens to them? And that's what we hear, and it's called Garu Puran. That section dealing with death. Of us worldly souls in the world who don't have time for God and what's going to happen to us. What kind of hell we'll go to and how much and the suffering we'll have to go through and everybody's scared. Nobody wants to hear Garud Puran. <laughs> you have to bear the fruits. You know, sometimes I find amusingly, the person who never went to Mandir, he will curse God. He doesn't want to hear the name God. When he will die, he will have the most Ramayan, most Bhagwat in his house. As though that will take him to Bhagwan. That's good. Nothing is wrong. Actually, the reading done when someone dies is not for the one who is left. It's for the, those who are living. You can't do anything for the one who is gone, bhaiya. Once someone had died and they asked me, Swamiji, come and do some reading. So I went. When I went, this was in Trinidad many, many years ago. And I saw two, three people sitting with me. I said, where are the rest of the people? Oh, they're playing card and they're drink, uh, drinking alcohol. I said, what? So who am I reading for? Everyone come here and sit down. While I'm here, no playing card, no drinking, nothing. It's not what you, you know. You haven't awake. For what reason? It's supposed to be a reading. When Dasharat left, if you look at Ramayan, when the king Dasharat died, Bashish, the guru, he brought everyone. It's written in Ramayan. Everyone came and sat, and then he related the, the, the scriptures. He read from the scriptures what happens to the soul, etc. Not for Dasharat, for those because of their attachment, they were suffering so much. In that separation from Dasharat, King Dasharat, that this helps you to understand that the soul never takes birth, nor does it die. No one has died. It's indestructible. What happens to the soul after it dies, etc. So this helps those who are living. If you call somebody to read, sit down and listen carefully now. You know, when I was growing up, I was told, dead horse doesn't eat any grass, bhaiya. <laughs> A dead horse can't eat grass. A dead person can't hear. He's gone. The yamdut must be have him somewhere ready. This is for those who are living. It helps. Doing the shroud, etc. It helps. Because that soul is suffering so much. What it helps? It helps in this, into... It's been taken across some place. There's no water. It's so dry. The sun is like a million sun is blazing down. So the water you offer the tarpan, they get a little bit. Every day you offer the, the, the pindadan, 
It is divided, but divided in many sections. He gets a little bit also. He's suffering from great hunger. And it has to be done correctly. Then he will get it. Or she will get it. Otherwise, it's just waste. If it's not done correctly. This is karma khan. There are rules and regulations. You just can't do it hee hee ha ha like that. Anyhow. <laughs> so, every action we perform, it has reaction. Reaction. Good and bad. The Lord, the moment you, you surrender complete to Bhagwan, Aham Tam Sarva Pape Bhu, He releases us from all the effects of uncountable actions performed in uncountable last, past lifetimes. He takes a match and lights that huge storehouse. Burnt, burnt to ashes. Finish. From that moment onward, the Lord looks after his surrendered devotee like a mother looks after a newborn child. Like a mother takes care of a newborn child. The Lord takes full responsibility. Complete protection. And in the world, a mother is not all knowing. The worldly mother. A child is crying. And the mother thinks the child is hungry. And something could be wrong with the stomach. And the mother takes the bottle with the milk and push it in the mouth. And causes more harm. But the Lord who is our supreme and true mother. She doesn't make any mistake. She is all knowing, all seeing, all pervading. She cannot make any mistake. Bhagwan. Loves his surrendered devotee so much, he becomes a slave to them. Slave. Nirapeksham munimshantam niravainam samadarshanam anubrajamiham nityam puyetang ghire nubhi. Eleven Kanto, 14, chapter 16, verse Bhagavat Mahapuran. Shri Krishna says to Udhav, Udhav, I run after my surrendered devotees. I run. Piche piche bhagta hu. So Udhav said, Maharaj, why? To protect them? No, no. I already do that sitting in their heart. I already am sitting in their heart. Anyhow, I already do that. So why are you running after them? So that when they walk, the dust of their feet will fly on me and I'll become purified. I become a slave to them. The Lord loves to serve those who serve Him. 
his sevak his servants he loves to serve them ram sada sevak रुचि राखी राम सदा सेवक रुचि राखी वेद पुराण साधु सुर साखी जय राम राम सदा सेवक रुचि राखी वेद पुराण साधु सुर साखी द लॉर्ड लव्स टू सर्व हिज सर्वेंट्स दोज हु सर्व हिम ही लव्स टू द सरेंडर डिवोटीज द वेदास द पुराणस द देवतास द साधु द सेंट्स दे ऑल बियर विटनेस टू दिस सकदेव पन्नाय तवास्मी चयाचते उभय सर्वूते दृत मम वाल्मीकि रायण द लॉर्ड से दिस इज माई ओथ एक व्रत है दिस इज माई ओथ दट इफ सम वन सरेंडर्स टू मी इवन वंस आई विल गिव हिम माई स्टॉ हाउस ऑफ ग्रेस भंडार what is storehouse of graces how many graces there are no one can count how many graces bhagwan showers no one can count just as no one can count the number of wrong things inside of us or the number of great things we are going to receive once we surrender to god yad durlabham yad prapyam manaso yanna gocharam तदप्य प्राथि ध्या ददा मधुसूदन विदभ्यास द स्क्रिप्चर से माया इज द मदर ऑफ ऑल बाड क्वालिटीज ओनली वेन माया गो ऑल बाड क्वालिटीज विल गो पीपल से Oh I don't have anger I don't have greed I'm not jealous I'm not selfish I get little angry that's all That's all <laughs> If one is there all are there Maya is the mother ma and these are all her children greed anger jealousy hatred lust selfishness delusion you name it many many So the scripture says I will free you from Maya the mother of all bad qualities and give you divine qualities divine virtue divine knowledge divine bliss everything divine the moment if you surrender to God even once in fact Tusidas he says in the Ramayana Doha जो तू धावे एक पग तो मैं धाऊ साथ पुरामा तो मैं धाऊ साथ जो तू करो काट तू मै लोहे की लाठ रामा मै लोहे की लाठ सियावर राम चंद्र पर जय शरण शंकर हरियो जय जय सिया राम जय जय सिया राम जय जय सिया जो तू धावे एक पग 
तो मैं धाऊ साठ और जो तू कर रो काठ तो मैं लोहे की लाठ द लॉर्ड से इफ यू इफ यू कृष्णराज महाराज से इफ यू वॉक वन फुट स्टेप टूवर्ड्स गॉड भगवान ही रंस रंस सिक्सटी टूवर्ड्स यू अरे गॉड नोज हाउ वीक वी आर how fallen we are all he wants is the effort in other words you just make the effort bhagwan and guru will do the rest bas just make an effort go in the right way ajo tu kar ro kaat and you decide you're not going to do anything just lie down and have a good time enjoy the senses to bhagwan say i become like a iron club i'll beat you with it you know you will get the the fruits of your actions and yet in spite of all the graces he showers so much graces he showers on those who surrender to him he loves them so much he still feels he has not given enough and he feels indebted doha जो संपत्ति शिवरावन ही दीन जिए दस मात हो रामा दीन जिए दस मात सोई संपदा विभीषण ही सतुच दीन ही रघुनाथ हो रामा सतुच दीन ही रघुनाथ सियावर राम चंद पर जय शरण शंकर हरियो जय जय सिया जय जय सिया राम जय जय सिया जो संपत्ति शिवराव नहीं दीन हनी दे दस मात सोई संपदा विभीषण ही सकुचि दीन ही रघुनाथ रावण वॉज अ ग्रेट डिवोटी ऑफ शिव भगवान शिव भक्त वंस रावण वॉज परफॉर्म इन यज्ञ एंड वॉट ही वॉज ऑफर इन द यज्ञ हिज हैड हिज टेन हेड्स ही विल कट द हेड एंड स्वाहा ओम नम शिवाय स्वाहा he started shaking mount kailash minister pasya the shiv ji graced him and gave him that golden city of lanka golden city of lanka such a great city when ravan was killed the same great city of lanka golden city bhagwan shri ram is given to vibhishan with great embarrassment he saying oh vibhishan what a very small thing i'm given to you so much he loves he takes complete care do but you have to surrender to him why have we not surrendered so far why have we not attained the grace maybe we didn't know how to surrender or that we should surrender no we the individual souls are beginningless eternal never had a beginning will never have an end we have heard countless times in the gita na jayate mriyate va kadachinayam bhutva भविता वन भूय अजो नि शाश्वत पुराणो न हन्यते हन्यमाने शरीरे द जीवात्मा द इंडिविजुअल सॉल हु वी आर नेवर टेक्स बर्थ नो डज इट डाई नो हैव इन कम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस डज इट सीज टू बी बिकॉज इट इज ऑन बॉर्न इटर्नल एंड मोस्ट एंशंट इट इज नॉट डिस्ट्रॉयड even when the body is destroyed nainam chindanti shastrani nainam dahati pavaka na chainam klirayantyapu na shushayati marutah 
अछेद्यो यमदाह्यो य मक्लेद्यो शोष्य एव च नित्य सर्वग्रस्तार चलो यम सनातनः The first verse, chapter two, verse twenty. These two, chapter two, verse twenty-three. Chapter two, verse twenty-four. You see, we hear all these scriptures, but how much we have faith? How much do we really believe? Otherwise, nobody will cry when someone dies. Impossible. Can't. Nay, nam chinanti shastrani. No weapon can cut it. No shastra. The soul, Atma, it cannot be burned by power, by fire. Apaha, water cannot wet it. Marutaha, wind, the wind cannot dry it. It is the same forever. It never changes. Vasan si jinani yatha vihaya navani ghinati naro parani tatha sharirani vihaya jirna. Nanyani sanyati navani dehi. Chapter 2 verse 22 Gita. The Lord says, just as a person changes clothes, we all change clothes. You take out one, you put it away, you throw it away, you put on a new one. In the same way, the embodied soul discards bodies and take on new ones. We don't die. You lose one body, you get the next one. So why are you crying? Because I don't know what kind of action. Maybe he did very wrong thing, so he's going to get very bad body. That's his problem. Why didn't you do the right thing? Huh? Why didn't you do bhakti? Because I didn't like bhakti. And then you think somebody can come and do a little something and everything is fixed. Really? Which scripture tells us that, bhaiya? Bring it and show it to me. Maybe I didn't see it yet. We are told in all the scriptures, you have to bear the fruits of your actions, good and bad. Have to. Where do we get destiny from? Huh? Where does destiny from? Fall from the sky? Huh? Where does destiny come from? Purva janma kitam karma God has given us free will. Karma Nivadikaraste Ma Paleshukadachana. Chapter 2, verse 47, Gita. When we perform actions out of the free will that God has given to us in one lifetime, that becomes our destiny in the next lifetime. The, fa- the, the sin of the Father does not go fall on the Son. That's a wrong saying. What my father do I have to enjoy the fruit? So whatever Hiranya Kashipu did, Prahalad should suffer. No. Everybody has their own account. Bhagwan is sitting in the heart and he's taking account, bhaiya, and his computer doesn't get virus. <laughs> his computer doesn't go bad. <laughs> He is taking a... So you can't blame anybody when things happen to us. We, love, we like to blame. We blame the neighbor. We blame this one. We blame Ho oh, Bhagwan. We blame Bhagwan too. And nobody blames themselves. Whatever happens to us is a consequence of our own actions. So it means uncountable lifetimes. We have met uncountable saints. These scriptures, Ved, they have been in existence from uncountable time. Puran. Puran means old. In other words, from beginning less time. They have existed. We have heard everything. We have read uncountable time. So it means we have heard that we have to surrender. But we haven't. There was a great saint one of the five original Jagat Guru, Jagat Guru Ramanu Jacharya. Jagat Guru Ramanu Jacharya give three Kapuya Charan. Three things we have to be careful of, which prevents us from surrendering. 
The first one is called Jim Bhav. Jim Bhav. So remember the first, the ninth. Navama Sarala. Navama Sarala Sabasana Chalahina. The ninth bhakti is to become Saral. You know what Saral means? It means to become very simple, like a newborn child, childlike. We have to, if you want to do bhakti, you want to surrender to God, you have to give up all chal, kapat, chal, hina. Means become devoid of all chal, all deceitfulness, all fraud. Because the heart has to be made very simple. Very simple. Bhagwan Sri Ram is also saying to the residents of Ayodhya, Saral Swabhav Naman Kutilai Yatha Labh Santosh Sadai Bul Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Ram You want to be a devotee of God, you want to be a spiritual person, not a religious person. People are very religious. They go to church every day, every Sunday, every day they go to mandir. That's religious. There's a saying, closer to the church and further from God. Is a show. Show <laughs> that I am such a spiritual person. Religious person. Ah, that's okay. Spiritual means one who is close to God. Who has a, a yearning and longing for God. If you have that, you want to become a spiritual person, a true devotee. Bhagwan Sri Ram is saying to the residents of Ayodhya, Sarala Swabhava Naman Kutilai. Your nature has to become very simple. Simplicity is compulsory in devotion. There should not be kutilai. Kutilai means crookedness. Because first we'll be crooked with the world and then we're going to be crooked with God and Guru also. So this is what Bhagwan Sri Ram is saying to Shabari also. Navam saral sab san chalahina. The ninth bhakti is to become saral, childlike, simple in heart. No crookedness. To be, and the second thing, sab chalahina. To become free from all deceitfulness. This is the second Kapuya Charan given by Jagat Guru Ramanuja Acharya. Anrit Bhav. Anrit Bhav means there is Chal Kapat. Deceitfulness in the heart. The Ramayan tells us. Niramal man jan so moh paava Mohi kapat chal Mohi kapat chal kham paava Jai Ram Shri Shri 
निर्मल मन जन सो मोहि पावा मोहि कपट छल आई डोंट आई कैन नॉट टॉलरेट कपट छल डिसीटफुलनेस फ्रॉड only those who are pure in heart pure mind pure heart the lord is saying can know him see him attain him the heart has to be made pure do not i am practicing bhakti i am i am doing i am a spiritual man i am doing devotion and yet i want to outsmart everybody uh, i am a deceitful person all i'm thinking is how to make more money and how to be how to enjoy the senses then what are you doing <laughs> and the third kapuya charan maya bhav this means dikhawa showing off someone goes to the mandir and kirtan is going on a nice way bhajan and kirtan is going on a nice way and they remember or they remember all the wrong things they have done and some tears comes to the eyes that person starts screaming and shouting causing a disturbance in the whole mandir everybody looks oh that lady is experiencing the the separation from god like the gopis really that lady fights and quarrels with the husband the father and the children every day and if you pass and by mistake you give her a little push hey are you blind can't you see what you are going <laughs> ready to swallow people alive ah if you have devotional aptitude the bhavana is there that while meditating on god tears come we have to shed tears this is the most important thing in bhakti don't make a show of it devotion we have to hide gopaniyam 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 prayatnatah don't show your bhakti when you show it you lose it because pride will come and the moment pride comes in the heart ahankar ego that i am such a devotee that i am high i've reached the stage of gopis bhagwan and guru will pack their bags and leave you will lose everything wanting god and the saint cannot tolerate ego abhiman pride if you want to be a devotee tena the peace you need chena you have to become humbler than a blade of grass so bhagwan uh, shri ram is saying to shabari navam saral sab san chalahi na मम भरो सही हर शन दीना टू हैव फेट इन गॉड नॉट टू रिजॉइस ओवर रिजॉइस वेन थिंग्स हैपन गुड इन द वर्ल्ड फॉर यू एंड टू बी कम डिजेक्टेड वेन थिंग्स हैपन इन नॉट दैट यू डेट इन अ बैड वे नो बट दिस कम्स वेन यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड वेन यू आर डिवोटी first to begin whatever happens to me is as a consequence of my actions i just mentioned that everything happens to us is the result of our own action god has given us free will this is his challenge in the gita chapter 2 verse 47 i give you free will the right to perform action do whatever you want but he doesn't give us the right to decide which fruit he reserves that right why because if we determine what fruit i am going to get then we'll do everything wrong <laughs> and we'll say i want good fruit good result so bhagwan says no i give the fruit accordingly samoham sarva bhuteshu name dvesho sthi na priya chapter 9 verse 29 gita the lord says arjun not as anyone dear to me nor is anyone hateful i look at everyone equally i am samadarshi i am a supreme god judge you do good actions you're going to get good fruit you do bad actions you're going to get bad fruits 
Don't blame anyone. So a devotee knows that. Number one, whatever happens to me is as a consequence of what actions I have performed in the past. Number one. Number two, I'd never give down. So where am I going to get wealth from? Huh? I didn't give down charity. The punishment for not giving down charity is dariddata, poverty. Besides having to go to hell, etc. And rotating in 8.4 million forms of life. When you get human birth by the causeless mercy of God, one again, sometime, you'll be born very poor. Very poor. So those of us who don't like to give down charity, keep it. Keep it. My money. I'm not giving anybody. Okay, keep it. <laughs> Nobody's demanding, bhaiya. <laughs> Especially in Kalyug, daan me kam kalau yuge. Manuji Maharaj, the lawmaker, he says, in the age of Kalyug, the only dharm that remains, daan, charity. So number one, whatever happens, is as a consequence of my action. And the one who is given the fruit, bhaiya, is who? Bhagavan, Shri Krishna. If I claim I'm a devotee, I love God. And whatever God gives me, I love it, is prashad. What Bhagwan gives is prashad. It could be good, it could be bad. Whatever Bhagwan gives is prashad. Everything happen, happens for the best. You don't understand, that's all. Once, I'll tell you a small katha. There was a king and he had a minister. And anything happened in the kingdom, the minister would say it happened for the best. Achahua, achahua. Anything happened. So one day, the king happened to cut his finger. He lost a piece of his finger. You know, you slice sometime, something, and you get a cut, but he actually sliced off a piece of the finger. He lost the finger. So he went to the thing and to the minister and said, Minister, look at a bad thing. And the minister said, achahua. This is a, this is a good thing happened. Huh? Throw him in jail, lock him up. Everything happens, happens for the best. So they threw the minister in the jail and locked him up. One day the king went hunting. And they went very far in the forest. And so happened the king, while very far in the forest, he strayed away from everyone and happened to be by himself alone. And while going deep in the forest, there were some people who were living in the forest. They caught hold of him. They were about to perform a sacrifice, human sacrifice. And they were looking for someone. And they found him, the king. So they said, Jai Ho, Jai Ho. <laughs> so they took him and they prepared him and they put him on, the, on, that, on a table about to sacrifice him. And they're about to take the, 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 the sword and take his neck off. And then somebody said, hey, hey, stop, stop. What happened? He's missing a finger. When they have to sacrifice someone, that person has to be whole. He shouldn't miss any part, anything, and shouldn't have a hole in the body or anything. Oh, he's missing a finger. Oh, Bhagwan. So they, they said, okay, they lose him out. We can't sacrifice you. And they let him go. And he went back and eventually he, the army, he found them again and they took him home. He was so happy. When he reached in the kingdom, he said, go quickly and release. The, 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 the minister, bring him to me. So they went and they released the minister and they brought him before the king. And the king hugged him and he was so happy. He said, I am so, please forgive me. You know, I didn't understand that when my finger was cut, I lost a finger. You said it's the best thing. Acha hua, it's a good thing. And I threw you in jail. But because I lost his finger, they were about to sacrifice me in the forest. 
And they saw I was missing a finger and I'm safe today. Otherwise, they would have gone with me. So I thank you very much. So he said, but one thing I want to ask you. He said to the minister, the king said, I threw you in jail. So the minister said, yes. And you said, that is okay also. Was that okay? You said, Achha hua. He said, yes, that was also okay. That was the best thing. How come? He said, because if I wasn't in jail, I normally accompany you, ev accompany you everywhere. I go with you. And I would have been with you over there. And when they held you and they put you on the thing and they saw you, I have not, I'm not missing any part. They would have sacrificed me. So the best thing they show me in jail. So we don't understand, right? Everything happens is grace, Bhagwan. Everything happened to you, say Jai Ho Bhagwan. Aapki kripa hai. Aapki kripa hai. Everything happens according to God's grace. We have to understand. We think only the good thing. No, no. Remember Bhagwan Sri Ram said to Shabadi the eight kind of devotion. Ashtama Jatha Labh Santosha. The eight type of devotion, Shabadi, is to be contented whether in gain or loss. Not only when everything is good, when everything is bad. But only a bhakt, a true devotee can understand that. Sarala sobhavana man kutilai yatha lab santosh sadai. He also, Sri Ram is saying to the residents of Ayodhya. How to do bhakti, how to be a spiritual person, to be simple in heart, simple in nature, like a child. And yatha lab santosh sadai. Always be contented with whatever you have. Always be contented. Don't think that this is going to make me happy. I need to get this. I need to get that. Be contented. Knowing whatever you have is, a, is grace, God's grace. What you don't have also too. So, mama bharosha here, harshana dina. Always be happy. Be contented. Have faith in God. Have faith. Only then, you see the, the, when Sri Krishna says, Ananya shinta yanto mami jana padupasate tesham nitya bhyukta nam yoga kshemam baham yaham. Chapter 9, verse 22, Gita. Those who worship me exclusively and surrender themselves wholeheartedly unto me, to them I bring attainment of what they do not have and I protect what they have. Many people claim to believe in God, worship God, but when it comes to this law, they back out. They don't have faith. Suppose I give everything. What will happen to me? Bhagwan say, I will give it. To, I will fix it for you. You give everything and I will give you everything I have. Doesn't he say that? He's saying with a challenge. I will bring attainment of what you do not have and protect what you have. But you have to surrender to me. Take shelter in me. Many of us claim to be devotees. But we don't have that faith. We are lacking. Suppose in it I have no Bhagawan. Imagine, hey, Bhagawan. And you are claiming to be a bhakt, a devotee. Huh? Huh? You are claiming to be a bhakt. But inside there is some little place which is saying, maybe suppose it I have no Bhagawan, I give up everything. What's going to happen to me? Because you have doubt. That's not faith. That's not bhakti. In bhakti you cannot have doubt. So he says, Mama Bharos, you have to have that full faith in me, in my, in my words, in the scriptures. Then you will never be, oh, when I win the lotto, Jai Ho, Jai Ho. I lost my bank, someone stole my money. <laughs> no, everything, Jai Ho, Bhagwan, Jai Ho, Bhagwan, Jai Ho. Everything. The worst situation, the best situation, Jai Ho, Bhagwan. That's what's called bhakti. There's much more devotees, but. This is the ninth, and I can be going on and on, but we have to finish. All right? So we'll stop here tonight. Bole Bindavan Bihari Lal Ke Jai, Siyabar Ram Chandra Ke Jai. 
बोले आधा रानी की जय श्रीमद सदगुरु सरकार की जय 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 श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे